All right, everyone. Yung pag-uusapan natin for this video is the upcoming SRO or Stock Rights Offering for Union Bank of the Philippines. Now, hindi pa po kompleto yung detalye as of the recording of this video. Pero you can rest assured na once more details are available to us, lalo na po kapag nagkaroon ng major changes, I'm going to release a follow-up video detailing all of those. Okay? Now, let's get started. As always, we kick off with mga key details natin, no? Now, the offer price will be from 64.55 to 73.78. So, that's kind of a narrow range considering yung price point, no? Now, they're looking to raise up to 40 billion and the shares being offered will be up to 800 million common shares. However, based dun sa pricing natin, dun sa from 64.55 to 73.78, uh, parang hindi mauubos yung 800 million shares. Eh? Assuming ang habol nga lang is to raise 40 billion. I think kung tama yung bilang ko, it will be anywhere from 500 plus million shares to 600 plus million shares. Depende sa kung saan tayo mag-end up dun sa band natin ng offer price. no? Kung high-end or low-end or somewhere in between. So, of course, this is still subject to change and malamang kaya sila naglagay ng ganong figures is para kung sakali man na they decide na babaan pa lalo yung price or something, they have enough wiggle room para maabot pa rin nila yung 40 billion na they're looking to raise, na hinahabol nila. Okay? Now, as of the recording of this video, wala pa po yung entitlement ratio. Okay? Now, yung entitlement ratio, yun yung nagdedetermine kung ilan po yung pwede yung bilhin or ilan yung uh, stock rights na available to you. So, kadalasan, it's something like, kunyari may hawa kayo dalawang share ng UBP, then you can avail of one share dun sa SRO. Something like that. So, hinihintay pa po natin na ma-release yung entitlement ratio. Now, there's new language built in doon sa uh, dokumento, no? That essentially limits UBPs or Union Bank's ability to suddenly cancel their offering. Now, I assume na kaya may ganito na, may bago tayong legal language, is the PSE wants to avoid yung nangyari sa dito, no? Wherein na-terminate bigla yung offering nila ng SRO, bigla naglaho. Okay? So, it's good na may ganito na silang ginawa. Hopefully, uh, it will be enough of a deterrent sa mga kumpanya na hindi na maulit-ulit yung ganon. Okay? Kasi syempre, hindi naman talaga maganda sa investor confidence kung basta-basta na lang pwedeng mabawi tapos ang hirap pa nung uh, refund process or matagal or whatever. Now, the pricing date for this SRO will be on April 4, 2022. And then the X date will be on April 6, 2022. Now, as you can see from here, ganito talaga yung common practice. No? Sasabihin nila yung pricing a little bit before yung X date. Kasi nga, syempre, they want you to be able to calculate kung worth it para sa inyo to avail of no SRO. Now, ano ang ibig sabihin ng X date sa record date? Yung record date pala natin will be on April 11, 2022. No? Sa mga nalilito pa po, Ang ibig sabihin ng X rights date or X date is yun po yung araw na kung may hawak kayong UBP shares at ibinenta nyo. Okay lang, makaka-avail pa rin po kayo ng SRO. Pero kung kunwari sa April 6 pa lang po kayo bibili ng shares ng UBP, hindi na po kayo makaka-avail or wala na po kayong rights na maukuha towards yung SRO. Now yung record date to put it a lot, lot, lot simple, simple ano lang, no? yung parang uh, very simplistic manner, yan lang po yung paglista ng kumpanya ng final na list na record, kung baga, na ito yung mga tao or institutions na pwedeng maka-avail ng SRO. So as investors, hindi po siya as relevant sa atin. Ang importante po is yung X date. Okay? So, if you intend to avail of the UBP SRO, be sure na nakabili po kayo uh, before April 6. So, April 5, pataas ay pababa. No? So, April 4 or whatever. Now, syempre, may kanya-kanyang drawdown yan. Kapag kakunyari, hinintay natin lumabas yung pricing date mismo, yung final price, baka tumaas yung price bago kayo makabili, 
para ma-avail yung SRO. Kung hindi naman natin hihintayin, maaari namang masyado nating mahal mabili. So, may pros and cons talaga po yung lahat. And depende na po sa inyo yan, how you want to approach this particular SRO. Now, the Joint Global Coordinators and Joint Domestic Underwriters for the UBP SRO will be CLSA Exchange Capital Inc. and ING Bank NV Manila Branch. As always, tulad ng pinapaalala ko sa inyo when we talk about IPOs, ganun din po sa mga SROs. Be sure na aware po kayo sa track record ng mga underwriters para lang merong kayong idea sa type of performance na nagaganap once na nalista na yung SRO. Okay? Hindi naman po siya dapat maging end-all and be-all ng decision-making process nyo, but I feel strongly na dapat at the very least, it should be a part of your decision-making process. Now, the offer period will be from April 25 to May 6, 2022. Okay? So, ample time, no? And then, the listing date will be on May 16, 2022. Okay? Now, minimum subscription will be one right share. Okay? So, Kukunwari, again, yung entitlement ratio natin was for every one, ay for every two shares of UBP you owned, you can buy one uh, SRO na rights na share. So, yun yung minimum na pwede nyo i-avail. You don't have to avail of yung buong allocation ninyo. Meaning, kunyari may hawak kayong uh, 200 na UBP na shares, you don't have to avail of all 100 na available sa inyo sa SRO. Siyempre, it's best if you do assuming you wanted to avail of it, pero you don't have to. Minimum is one right share. Now, paano nga kung kunwari merong mga hindi nag-avail ng mga rights na naka-allocate para sa kanila? Uh, merong nakasulat sa preliminary prospectus. Again, this could be subject to change. Baka biglang magbago kapag may final prospectus na. Pero may nakalagay po doon na applicants can try to avail of additional subscription meaning kapag meron pong hindi nag-decide ay sorry kapag meron pong nag-decide na hindi i-avail yung mga rights shares na naka-allocate para sa kanila it will be distributed doon sa mga nag-apply for additional subscription okay so usually kahit papano meron at meron kayong makukuha na additional subscription kasi i'm almost certain na hindi lahat ng tao na merong UBP or yung merong rights to avail of your SRO ay mag avail ng full allocation nila. Depende pa po yan. Okay? So, kung kunwari gusto nyong subukan na mag-avail ng additional subscription, then by all means, no, go ahead. Baka sakaling maswerte, makachamba, at maakuha po kayo. Okay? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin on the UBP SRO. As I mentioned at the start of this video, hindi pa po final yung mga details na nakalagay dito. Subject to change pa rin po tayo. And you can rest assured na kung meron pong magbago or kapag may nadagdag na pong mga detalye na importante, I will make sure to release a follow-up video for all of you. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!